On the 13th of every month, Dead by Daylight resets player grades back down to Ash 4. My goal is to climb all the way back up to the top, but I've placed a few restrictions on myself. When a survivor dies, then they are dead for good. With each death, I have to also give up the oldest two perks in my build. Will I be able to make it back to iridescent grades, or will I crumble under the pressure? This is Solo Hardcore Survivor. Last time on Solo Hardcore Survivor, we had a rough few games, getting lucky once against a DCing Legion, and getting unlucky twice against a turbo tunneling nurse and a doctor who guessed right in the endgame. Not wanting to lose another one of my favorite characters in such a short amount of time, I figured I'd pick everyone's least favorite character, Hattie. I also grabbed a few more good perks, the anti-tunneling decisive strike, and the anti-aura reading distortion. We're three episodes in with three characters down, surely I'll survive longer with this build. A Fred word. That's not bad, actually. Okay, bro. You just you just happened to find me. What the heck? Is he one of those? Pressure? Hmm. Honestly, I think I could have gotten him. We're just hitting him with the fattest W. Fatter than my ass. Oh my god, there's no thing there. <laughs> Later, nerd. Uh oh. No, dude. Turn, turn, turn. Fang! This is a mess. Oh my god, he's so thirsty! You could have died right there, you got the window. Do I just let Kate do her thing? Sneak him back in. Bruh. Ain't no way. If I do that, he'll chase me instead of going to kick? No. Excellent work by this Fang, drawing him away. I don't know how she managed that because he looked pretty thirsty. There's no pallet in there. Get this shit out of here. Wait, I can hang out and probably get my distortion up, yeah? Oh my god, he's right there. Oh my. Why me? Why do I think there was a window? The other way. I guess we're not getting our uh, deliverance, are we? Fat respector. Uh huh. We're going back. I'm trying to figure out if he's coming back over here. Oh my god, I've done it. Wait, that pallet's gone? Mm. He just immediately kicks it. That pallet's safe with resilience. Play this? Yeah, maybe. No window right there, unlucky. Whoa, I thought this was about to be a fake pallet. Holy crap, he doesn't care at all. Got him? Hey. Every second counts. Oh, she blew a skill check. Unlucky. She got 7%ed. 7% to just lose the game for no reason. We're gonna get two gens off of that. Look at this. Pop, pop. Nice. 
Is waking Claudette up a conspicuous action? Am I going to lose DS if I do it? Hmm. Maybe try to regroup? I don't know. Thank you. Wait, Feng's uh, dead on hook. Maybe I help? I got you, I got you. We kind of do need someone else to get the rescue, but... Alright, take the hit and I'll go. Okay, guys, that's cool. We need to hop on this thing. Please don't come out this way. That'd be crazy. Claudette's doing a chest. Oh no, please be real. Spirit Fury. I knew what to do like a quarter of a second too late. You pretty much have to run into them as soon as Spirit Fury happens and it forces like a 50-50. For if you go through them all the way, or if you go in double back and try to make it somewhere else. Really? Claudette! I pretend to be a potato, and we hit DS right here. Bitch. This is fake pallet, we dropped it at the beginning of the game. I'm dead, dude, there's nothing. Bro. What a good perk. DS is so good, man. This guy has no idea where he's going. One hit and I'm off. Nowhere to be found. Oh my god, guys. I, I don't know if I can keep doing this. We did get... Plus one, I guess, for all our troubles. This game seemed like it should have just been a free win. My first hook was literally the second one of the game, and we already had four generators completed. When I got surprised by Spirit Fury, Fang was somehow already dead though, and nobody was interested in gens. I sincerely think this missed skill check from Claudette cost me the game and the life. Not having an exhaustion perk was starting to hurt, but in my current state of mind, I didn't want to just use the good ones that I had left and then lose them for nothing so early on in the challenge. Instead, I chose Smash Hit with Parental Guidance to let me smack the killer with a pallet and then zoom away with no scratch marks. Oh no. <laughs> Terror Radius and then it disappeared. Could that be like a ghost face? Forgot to turn his swag on? Kinda worried. Look, I'll cross. What? How did I accomplish this? Oh, he's off. Hey, that's actually pretty pog, though. I was all worried for nothing. Well, not necessarily nothing. I think Billy could have a rough time on here. He has Tinkerer. Bruh. I'm not taking a hit. It's Billy. He just runs up behind us and ring, ring, rings. Kick the gen. I saw the flash from around the corner. It could be pop. Oh my god. That audio sounds terrible. Uh oh. Billy, don't do it. I'll never know where I went. Yeah, it actually worked. Value. And then she throws it away, instantly getting destroyed.
Is he gonna walk it back all the way over here? Is no idea. If there's a map I can stealth on, it's this one. I thought I heard him coming from the other side. Yo, this guy really doesn't want this gen to pop. No shot. See if I can pop his tinkerer right here. Yeah! Tinker is only once per gen. Come on. Wait, does he not? Wait, yeah, I got it. I got it. It procced. Just barely, I think, though. The heart might be bugged. Yeah, it was bugged. Wait, Yui's about to die. Oh, my... I'll actually just die right here. I'm willing. I think he went to the other gen though. Yo, got the gen. Dip, 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 there he is. Billy, we're about to go for a little ride if that's okay. He don't care. Hmm. Trying to fake me? Dude, I see you. Turn back around, go pick up. Can I pop your tinkerer right here? I'll do it again, Billy. He's not even hooking on this side. He's over it. Well, you don't want to buzz? Buzz, buzz? <laughs> does up pop oh come on Billy nope 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 Neo what the f what's she doing oh my god drop it you, you missed the god palette. There was a thing right there. I, I don't know what you're following me for. Dude, you ran through the god palette. I don't know what you want from me. They got her up. That's actually pretty remarkable. Bro, it... Come on, Billy. I'm gonna leave this way. Wait, both of them are getting chased. Where were they? I hope she's spectating me. This pallet right here. What are you running away for? This gen's been at 70% like five times. Yeah, he knows. Uh oh, they used that. <sighs> we could have finished it, I'm just saying. gonna hook me on it and this is a place to die honestly I've seen so many people just get left here I hope he goes for more and doesn't want to just secure me tap the door for no way out no okay uh, she's coming kind of the long way getting chased. I have to hit a crazy Kobe, I think. Ah! 
No such luck. They're leaving. Dude. Make one mistake. Lose the game. Hit me again, Billy. See what happens. Literally, dude, just unhook me and I actually get a 2-pip for free. It felt like getting screwed over by teammates was beginning to be a pattern. In my mind, if that girl had stayed to use Prove Thyself on the gen, we maybe could have completed it. Or if they had had a little bit more patience before popping the other one, I could have been rescued and out of there, given how easily I evaded Billy several times that match. To be a little bit more self-sufficient, I decided to use Left Behind and Low Profile. I won't have to be so thirsty for gen completions and can stealthily look for the hatch, as long as I stay safe until then. Alright, Mother's Dwelling. Uh, good for us. Hopefully. Who's that? Oh my god. It's a creeping little sprint burster, isn't it? Look at that fixated. Easy first gen. I don't even know who the killer is. Is it a slinger? Or a... Oh, no, no, it's a pyramid head. Okay. I'll just get their sounds confused a little bit. What the heck? Oh, no. It's a tunneling pyramid head. I don't know if there's anything to do about this. Why is he still there? She stepped in the freaking wire too? Okay. I- was that intentional? I don't know, what do I do about that? I, dude, what is that? The last little pixel of a uh, strawberry jam. Basement check? No. Off me. Man. Tunneling ass executioner with deadlock, yeah. He put deadlock on so that he can tunnel. I legit think deadlock is probably the best slowdown perk in the game. Might be the might be the best killer perk in the game. I don't know, that's up for contention. Corrupt's really good, no way out's really, really good. Nope. Bro, okay, that's just not dodgeable. I'm so glad you caged me right now. I should be right next to him. Come get me. Okay, I don't know about the order of operations there. Yep, order of operations sucked. Order of operations sucked, man, and no real tile. She could have rescued me first, and I would have gotten so much more distance. Okay, bro. Yeah, I'm dead. There's no getting away from this.
He's crazy for that, TBH. Man. I, I just had to hope that he would get the pallet stun. This is how we're going to lose all our people. Straight tunnelers. Straight three hook tunnels. Probably no pip either. Yeah, I, I didn't live long enough to get a pip. Fuck. Yeah, I'm about to be done here in a sec. More obvious than my frustration is the fact that losing three characters in a row like this is a brutal setback. It was late and my mental fortitude was absolutely shook, so there's no way I was queuing up again. At least, not until the next episode of Solo Hardcore Survivor.